Ryan, thanks a lot. The Council on American Islamic Relations is demanding an apology from Donald Trump, who recently said, quote, Islam hates us. And they're going after Governor Rick Scott after appearing on a national talk show and not denouncing Trump's remarks. Our investigator, Bob Norman, has more. Another controversial story, statement from GOP frontrunner Donald Trump last night, this time pigeonholing an entire religion. I think Islam hates us. It led to a media uproar, and this morning Florida Governor Rick Scott was asked about it on MSNBC's Morning Joe show. Do you think Muslims in uh, the state of Florida hate America? Well, as you know, in Florida, we're the best melting pot in the world. Um, we love everybody coming to our state. It wasn't a direct answer, and three more times the question was asked. Rick, 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 I know you and Joe are friends, and this is kind of awkward, but can you answer the question, or should we scoot? <laughs> well, I can tell you that, you know, I'm glad everybody's in Florida. You know, we're doing well here. The lack of an answer led the host to boot the governor from the show. That was weak, sniveling put... political wavering. Scott's performance garnered plenty of media attention today, as well as the condemnation of the Council on American Islam Relations. Care attorney Wilfredo Ruiz. We feel betrayed by a governor that we were expecting from him, nothing else, nothing but standing up for equality. What should Scott have done? stand for the over half a million Muslims that live in Florida, saying no, there are Muslims today protecting me, protecting my, our citizens, to uh, serving our nation. He, wouldn't, he chose he not wouldn't, to answer he, 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 he chose answer to be it. weak. Bob right. Norman, Local 10 News. Well, Bob requested a statement from the governor to clarify his position yet again, but had not received one prior to this report.